now in shelters. A Chicago neighborhood which has been hit hard by crime and economic troubles is getting a big boost. As WGN's Julian Cruz reports, a new program will pump more than a quarter of a billion dollars into the Woodlawn neighborhood. The federal government has launched a new strategic approach to fixing up distressed neighborhoods like Woodlawn. The Choice Neighborhoods Initiative will focus $272 million on this crime-ravaged Southside community. This is one of five communities that we expect to be models for the rest of the country. If we can do it here, we're going to do it everywhere. We don't want to just do one investment and see if it works. We want to make sure we have a collective set of investments in a neighborhood to really begin to turn on and use the public and private partnership to bring our resources to bear and make a neighborhood stabilize. The mayor says it's a comprehensive effort with 53 police officers already added to the 3rd District, which includes Woodlawn, with the goal to invest in high-quality schools with mixed-income developments like Grove Park Plaza on Cottage Grove, providing an anchor to the revitalized community with 965 units of both affordable housing and additional rental units. Speaking for President Barack Obama, who of course is intimately familiar with Woodlawn as a young community organizer, the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development says that too many families are struggling to survive in the distressed neighborhood of Woodlawn. Think about this. You can predict the life expectancy of a child by the zip code they grow up in. That's not right in America. Last night's violence just blocks away illustrates the challenges ahead. Four teens were shot in a drive-by shooting on a crowded sidewalk last night. The young victims are expected to survive, but the crime that ravages this neighborhood makes it difficult for families to raise their children. Today's announcement comes on the heels of a decision by the University of Chicago to invest $1.5 billion revitalizing the surrounding community and backers hoping that it will help to transform the neighborhood of Woodlawn. At 63rd in Cottage Grove, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian.